everyone, my name is Sametti. I am a 32-year-old detransitioner from Finland. I am a transcritical conservative blogger and a YouTuber and also a university student. Thank you so much for inviting me to this event. I am very much looking forward to cooperating with all of you. I'm very surprised at how powerful this organization is. Like We have so many professionals and uh, Researchers and you know smart people like we are not, not just we are we are not not just uh, you know random people coming together like they are actually experts in this like I wow <laughs> so yeah <coughs> I am a, a living example of what the transgender madness can lead into I was born female and I suffered from gender dysphoria all my life and I became convinced that I am a man trapped in a woman's a woman's body in my early 20s. I was officially diagnosed as transgender at a trans clinic in Finland in 2012. I started testosterone hormone therapy in 2012 and went to two surgeries, the removal of breasts and the removal of uterus, ovaries and the vagina. I stopped taking hormones in 2016 and I socially detransitioned in 2018 after realizing that I am, in fact, a lesbian without ever understanding that before and that many of my problems are actually linked to me being a lesbian. I also came to the realization that I actually suffer, suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and dissociative disorder, have been for years, but I just didn't know it. But for me, it is now impossible to fully detransition back to female because the effects of the medical transgender treatments are irreversible. It is impossible to grow back something that has once been cut off. I am stuck forever being a woman with no breasts, no ovaries, no uterus, and no vagina. I am infertile and can never have a child even if I want to. My body does not produce any hormones anymore. And this causes many uh, very unpleasant side effects. The effects of testosterone are also irreversible. I am forever stuck with a deep voice and beard growth. Testosterone also had many unpleasant side effects. Today, my history with medical transgender treatments has great mm -hmm. negative impact on my overall health and I, have to deal, and, <coughs> and I have to deal with it for the rest of my life, and I'm only 32. 